Social impact bonds have been a hot topic in the news recently. These bonds are also known as pay for success contracts. A private investor such as a bank or philanthropic foundation signs a contract with a government entity to provide funding and management of a program with a specific goal such as reducing homelessness. If the goal is achieved, the government pays back the investor with a profit. If the goal is not achieved, the government pays nothing. Lawrence Tech University recently hosted a program designed to shed light on this very interesting trend. The LTU Social Impact Bond Lecture, which is part of the Executive to Executive Speaker Series, is a leadership initiative sponsored by Plant Moran and hosted by the Center for Nonprofit Management at Lawrence Tech. This particular lecture featured Ann White of the Harvard Kennedy School, who spoke on the various nuances of social impact bonds. Having Ann White here from the Harvard Social Impact Bond Lab is a classic example of what the Executive Executive Series does. Uh, social impact bond financing is one of the most cutting edge financing tools being introduced in the social sector. It's being introduced through government programs. It's a method of government financing, but it integrally involves for-profit and non-profit sectors. So it's really a very innovative program, and it's one more new idea that nonprofit organizations and those committed to human services in Michigan can learn about and, and understand that it will contribute to helping them advance and expand needed services to our community. Well, social impact uh, bonds are a relatively new uh, item, and as you saw in the presentation today, there's only certain states that are starting to do it. Uh, Michigan's lucky enough to put in a, pre uh, a proposal to Harvard, and Harvard now is providing someone on a pro bono basis to help the state get going on that. Uh, it's been tough for not-for-profits to find funding, uh, to be innovative, because sometimes it doesn't work. And so in these bonds, you are able to find an alternative source, and there's a way to pay it back and to provide a return so you can attract people to provide you money to support some innovative ways of doing programs. The significance and scope of social impact bonds is growing as business and thought leaders see it as a necessary partnership module. I had the opportunity to speak to the Executive to Executive series today uh, to introduce the social impact bond concept um, which the government of the state of Michigan is pursuing and um, yeah, it was an op opportunity to meet everyone that might be involved. I was pleased, I was pleased with the engagement. Um, social impact bonds are a new model and it's useful to go through the theory and uh, in my experience anyway uh, really open it up to the floor for questions um, so that different groups can really ensure that the presentation is relevant to them. So I was really pleased with the engagement. The Social Impact Bond Lecture is one of many offered through the Executive to Executive Speaker Series. The Center for Nonprofit Management is a program dedicated to training and educating the next generation of nonprofit leaders in Michigan. We offer uh, graduate coursework in nonprofit management and leadership as well as outreach programs that help train the professional community. Uh, the Executive to Executive series is a classic example of what we do. It's a four part speaker series dedicated to nonprofit social sector leaders in Southfield and throughout the region. And it's here to share the latest and innovative thinking about the management and goings on of the charitable sector. The people who are coming to see the program love the variety and love the different uh, items that we've brought to them. Uh, if you look at the attendance list, you get a lot of people who sign up for the entire series. It's a series of four. Uh, I think this is the fourth or fifth year now that it's been running, so you see a lot of the same people. Uh, try to keep it new. Try to keep it cutting edge. Uh, I know that you might think not-for-profit isn't cutting edge, but there are new ideas, things out there. So people are really excited and what you see too is you don't just see one person from an organization, you see two or three and it might be the executive director, it might be a program director. So you start to get a lot of talk in the organization and brainstorming things of that nature of how this might work for their organization. To learn more about upcoming Lawrence Tech events, visit ltu.edu.